we designed our solution, we made it into a toolbox that's familiar and comfortable to mechanics. It's not built on a box that's normally in a tool crib holding nuts, bolts, and washers, but something that's efficient for a mechanic to work out of. So it seems obvious to snap on, we could have built it on anything, but this is the real benefit in doing it. We're only showing you half of the system right here at the moment, but I'll bet you while we're sitting here checking tools in and out, back in our office, in the, uh, the room, the, the display room over there, this is checking tools in and out and, and managing in the asset management. Uh, accounting program that's running over there. Most everybody probably has a badge to get on their premises, to get in the buildings, to get on the on site. Typically we suggest utilizing that to check in and out of the toolbox. Access granted. The way we build our system, very simple. This is primarily to show the mechanic the state of the box as it relates to him, and let him see the state of the box as it relates to everybody that has access to the box. He can look at it at a glance and see how many tools he has checked out, because that's really all he cares about. Focus. Do your job. Don't lose any tools. Put everything back. Clean up. Let's go home and make some money. Keep it simple. Normal tool layout. And you guys, would love to have you come by and take more of a look at it, no, no problem. But if your solution doesn't allow you to organize the tools in a normal fashion and to keep everything in, 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 a, in a lean way for a mechanic to work out of the box, then it, it may not be the proper solution for you. So, of course, we've been doing this for a long time, and we know what the Here again, keep it simple. As soon as I get comfortable with the system, I don't need to look at the part numbers or the descriptions and see if I've got the right tools. Just listen. Issue two tools. Keep it simple. Doesn't care if you're putting them back or taking them out at the same time. The system needs to be able to do that. Return one tool. Issue 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 one tool. And it needs to go down to that 95% level down to the apex bit. This is the kind of thing you should be looking for. This is the kind of thing of value to you. Keep it flexible. Make sure you can your system, your solution, has the flexibility so it can grow. If you want a box like this to house your specialty items that you typically have in the back of the tool room locked up with Harry Gard in the door, well, isn't that true? Happens everywhere. Get it down in the, in, in the hangar where the guys are working. Let us know who is going in and out of the box, what they're using. But let this manage it and get the efficiencies and, 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 and leanness of being able to. Session time expired. Log out. Another good point. Make sure it automatically does the thing, the core things you're supposed to do. Lock the box. Know what's going in and out of the hangar. The two foundation things for that, that quality solution. So, flexibility, involve your people in that process. That long flow chart is daunting. I can tell you, if you take the time and you work a process like this for something as simple as a tool list, you can end up with buying as few tools as possible, have a well-organized system, and everybody ends up 
with a quality and safe product where they need it, when they need it. And you're not always looking for something, and you don't have the technicians going through a whole pile of cool stuff that they don't really need. Because the more items you have in that hangar, inside your company, that's the more items you have to keep track of, the more safety things you have to worry about, the more cost it ends up being to you. And it's not, it's not a good is Bayo compliant solution. So you can see, tools are laid out. I can quickly look at the drawer, see if anything's missing. And I could use this by hand without the automation. But I got a camera, four cameras actually, one, two, three, four, looking through here. And you can see the strip where the cameras are looking. As I open and close the drawer, we have trained it. We have told it what it looks like with tools, without tools, what the tools look like. So we can very simply close the drawer, listen, look and see the exact two tools that were issued out of number. When I open this drawer, it turns red. The box says, I know the drawer is now open. I'm in drawer two. There's no wires. There's no sensors. The machine vision cameras are looking through the thing and measuring the dots. And it now knows by the measurement what drawer it's in. We trained it. What tools we got? Issue two. Issue two tools doesn't care for issuing or turning at the same time. I put one back, I took two more out. Doesn't matter. Five. Issue two. Every time you open a couple drawers, it takes a couple seconds for it to package the data That's because safe. remember, we've had managers, tool rooms, certification labs that are getting this information from the toolbox virtually live. As soon as you log out, packages it up and, and it updates it. Fast. Issue one. Issue one. Issue one. Issue one. Faster than I've seen any technician working in any plant I've been in. <laughs> <laughs> Robust. Everybody's amazed when we check. Issue one. Gets in and out. We've got all the data. We watch the tools going in and out. We can find out what tools were used to do what job. We can watch the serial numbers and know what serial number was used or what torque wrench with the, ser the serialized torque wrench to, to do a particular job and manage it as a group and, 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 and from afar. It comes with the toolbox in multiple drawer configurations in this 36 inch size and the 54 inch size. Multiple colors, but we include the foam, the custom designed and engineered foam. It includes the electronics and the software on the toolbox and quantity one list price is 21,000. Now, it's virtually no discounting on this because of all the engineering that goes, that goes into this. This thing gets delivered to the customer with all the tools in it, trained. In theory, we will have gone through with their at, it, IT people, will know how to connect it, plug the thing in or turn the Wi-Fi on, give it its credentials to connect into the thing, install the admin software, link the boxes, add the users, and show them how it works and go to lunch. I mean, that's the way it comes. Foam, toolbox, wielder without wheels, electronics, and software, 21,000. It's 2,500 for the administrator to administrate every 20 boxes. The large one's 26,000, same kind of deal.